Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I'm going to be opening one box of 1999 Topps Gold Label. And you can see here what it says is featuring Class 1 Gold Label, randomly inserted. Class 1, 2, 3 Gold Label. Class 1, 2, 3 Black Label. Class 1, 2, and 3 Sequentially Numbered Red Label. Cards, 1 to 1 insert, sequentially numbered 2-1. Race to Aaron, gold, black, and red label inserts. There you go. So, a lot of cool cards. I, I want to open this because my box openings really did not happen between um, when I was in college. You know, I didn't open a lot. And then, you know, I graduated in uh, 97. And then I didn't have a lot of money between 99 and 2001. Um, or 97 to 2001, so I didn't open a lot of product. So a lot of these products like this, gallery, just a lot of products I never opened. I, I collected some cards, but I never got to open the product because I just couldn't afford to open boxes um, as I was a junior scientist and not making a lot of money. So we're going to open this box, a gold label 99. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Never opened it before, so hopefully you guys... Um, Root me on to pull something low numbered of a good player. Now, remember that last box of Finest? We opened 99 Finest. That box was fire because everything I hit was a Hall of Famer. And um, I pulled a Jeter and a Griffey. So. Now, there's a lot of packs. So, this is going to be something that we're just going to pull the packs out. Back in this, these days, they had a lot of packs. And, Today, this product would be like, well, I think they're doing Gold Label again this year. But Topps just announced they're not, they're discontinuing Gold Label after this year. But we know how it's going to be done. You know, they'll do like th four packs in a box or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're hard to open. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, are we sticky? What's going on here? Um, a little bit, not bad. Okay. These are really nice cards. That's one thing I also want to say too is just super shiny and nice cards. So starting out with Carlos Pena and right off the bat, we get a Barry Bonds. So no sticking. I'm very happy. Wow. A Barry Bonds. And I know there's different classes. And so let's see if we can figure out what class this is. I'm not sure how you know. I'm looking on the back. Trying to find some help. Class one. There we go. Right underneath the Giants. Class one. So there we go. Class one, Barry Bonds. Cool card. And then right behind him is Greg Maddox. Class one. And then behind it is a Roger Clemens. And that is class two. So the class two have logos behind them. I don't know. Oh, I guess it's a little more in the front. It's this trademark. I'm just trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm sorry it's a little slow, but it's a cool pack, man. Maddox, Clemens, um, and uh, Bonds in the first pack. So, very nice. I'll put Clemens over here. I like the Maddox card. Nice card. So, good pack one. A lot of packs to go. Um, see what we get all right raw mondesi keep everything in camera raw mondesi class one move on class one so um kelly this is dransfeld he was a rookie, didn't do much. I mean, these cards are super shiny. And here is a Chipper Jones, really nice card. And that is, again, class one. Here we go. Really nice cards. Um, that's the thing is like the cards today don't, aren't near this nice, a lot thinner. These are thick bordered cards. Um, there's, you know, one, two, four cards in the pack. They're pretty thick. Just don't think they do these cards like this anymore. Um, and they're not definitely not quite as shiny. 
So gold label Dante Bichette, class one. Sandy Almar, class one. Tony Gwen, there we go. Class, whoop, didn't mean to damage Mr. Gwen. Class one, and then Scott Rowan. Newly Hall of Fame Scott Rowan, class one. So we haven't hit any inserts, but young in the box, so keep going. But we hit it, you know, at least a good one of the good players that you want to get. You want to get the Griffey base cards and the Bonds base cards and all the cool Hall of Famers. So here we go. Vinny Castilla. Class one. So I'm getting kind of the hang of it, what they look like now. Jay Buhner. So this, again, looks like class one. Yep. Cal Ripken. So that's a cool one. Class one. But it goes down here with all the other... And then Sammy Sosa, class one. All right. So you don't get a ton of class twos and threes for sure. So they are a little harder to hit comparatively. All right. Man Ram. This one does look different. So let's see what this has. Nope. Class one. All right. I thought it was a little different. But man, man Ram, Darren Erstad, Ruben Mateo, last one. And then here is the Roger Clemens, and this is class one. So this is a good excuse to pull the other Clemens out that we had to kind of show you how the set is designed. You get, you know, multiple cards with different designs. Or multiple players. So here is um, class two, and you know, right here, and this is class one. So you can see different logos. Cards look different, um, but not that different. So to me, like you, you know, you don't see why. I see why you could you could easily miss some of these because I mean the logo is different. That's about it. Um, so there you go. But that's class one and class two. All right. Here we go. Another mo or this is Troy Glouse, Sean Green, oh, we got a little sticking on that one, Sean Green, Jim Edmonds, what a nice card, and Jeff Cirillo. That's class two. So, haven't hit a Griffey card. I would love to just pull the base. Just want to pull the base at minimum. All right, here's Alfonso Soriano, who was a hot rookie at this time. Class one. Really nice Maguire. Maguire was on fire at this point. This would have been a really cool card to have. Class one, Eric Chavez. I think this is going to be class two based on. Nope, class one. I guess I don't know what I'm doing yet. And then Juan Gonzalez. So and that is a class two. So we fit three class twos. Um, so you're going to get a few of those a box. We'll flash up some odds during the video. Um, so everyone can kind of see the pull rates. Can the camera minute? Class one, Mark Mulder. Class one, Andrew Jones. And then Travis Lee. So had a lot of rookie cards of Travis Lee back in the day, and that's a class three. All right. Cla our first class three, and a little different logo, I guess. I mean, it's just hard for me to tell the difference in the cards. So that's a class three. I'm not sure why, 
but it is. I do like the packs. They're super shiny. Look at that. Man, we don't do cool looking packs like this anymore for a, for a product that wasn't uh, that expensive. I guess this product was a little on the expensive side for back in the day. Um, you know, compared to now, it's, it's, it's nothing. All right. Delgado. It's a really nice looking card. The flag in the background. Sean Casey. Uh, Matt Belisle and Ruben Mateo and that is a class three so that's our second one all right let's hope for the base let's hope for the base the base Griffey, that is. All right, probably the one token pirate player in the whole set. Jason Kendall. And a one. Travis Lee again. Garcia Para. A one. Cool card, though. And last but not least, Todd Hundley. I believe he won the. Rookie of the Year, Class 2. Alright, keep on going. Let's see if we can hit Lisa Base Griffey. Come on, Base Griffey. Mike Messina. Awesome pitcher. Won 20 games his last year. I uh, think quite. Takes a lot of, I think, guts to do that. Barry Larkin. Uh, super underrated player. There you go. Class one, Brad Fulmer, and Derek Bell, Operation Shutdown. There you go. Yeah, we're about a third of the way through the box. Um, yeah, it's pretty boring so far. Nothing hit. Um, we hit one, you know, Barry Bond card. Here's a class one Piazza. I like Piazza a lot. Um, Jeff AJ Burnett, who I think ended up pitching for the Pirates for a little bit, um, had a good career. Yeah, AJ Burnett, Gary Sheffield, and Al Leiter, who also had a very good career. All right, yeah, so this is definitely a product that invited you to build a set. It definitely wasn't about hit after hit after hit. Well, we'll see if we get anything. Okay. Tony Clark. One. Mark Grace. One. Ivan Rodriguez. One. So I like that card a lot. And Ray Langford. Oh. Oh, it looks a little different. Maybe not. No. Well, kind of looks different. I don't know. We'll see. Ray Langford. Huh. The logo looks different. You guys see that? So this might be a black. See, look. I don't know. The logo looks different, so I'm going to throw it here. And maybe I missed one of those <laughs> in the past. Um, it'd be nice if it said something like black label, red label. Um, just says class one. So I think it's different because it's definitely in the light. You can tell it's a different color logo. Uh, maybe just a mistake. Who knows? We'll figure it out. David Justice. Paul O'Neill. Jeff Cirillo. Nice. And Ben Grieve, who is still a big rookie at this point. He never really did much. So. 
right. Todd Helton. Jim Thomey. Bertie Williams. And Albert Bell. Okay. Yeah. I'm like thinking like now I'm gonna have to go back and see if I miss anything. Cause ah, oh, nice. All right, here we go. Got the Griffey right on the front, and this is class one. There we go. Still awesome, awesome card. Super happy. And then behind him is a Rod, which is really cool. Bagwell, so that's a good pack. And Jose Cruz Jr., who was a hot rookie in 97. He started to flame out already in 99. That's cool to pull the base Griffey, for sure. And uh, that definitely makes me feel good about the box, because I just like to get one Griffey out of every box we open. Kurt Schilling, Todd Walker, there's the Jeter. And Mr. Jeter is a one. And Tom Glavine. He's a one. So. Have not hit anything unique or cool yet. I think. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Here's Vlad Guerrero, Sr. Tim Salmon. It's a one. Todd Hunley. That looks like a two. No, it's a one. Sorry. And another one, Gonzalez. And that is a one. All right. Last few packs. I'm not feeling that we hit anything big. Um, I can go back through the common stack to see if I missed maybe a red or black label version, but man, I don't feel like I did, but who knows? Joe Creedy, Orlando Hernandez, Jeff Kent, and another Vladdy. Vlagra. And this one is a three. So get you down here. All right. Okay, so a little more stuck together. Another one is also wish you could have as many uh Griffies as I do one Gonzalez here in the last couple of packs. Okay. Rusty Greer, Carrie Wood, and Olerud. Here you go. I wish they would put these in every pack. Just a few packs. All right, Jeremy Burnett's. And there's Rondell White. Adrian Beltre. And Vinny Castilla. So some pretty good players in that one. All right, three packs. Randy Johnson, after he was traded away. Wade Boggs, again, after some trades. Vic. Sorry, Pat Burrell. I think it says rookie card there. Yeah, so they are numbered. I hadn't noticed that before. And Dante Bichette. 
All right, two more to go. Pedro Martinez. Very nice. John Smoltz. Moses Alluding. Oh, here's our first. <laughs> nice. Hank Aaron, King Griffey Jr. Race to Aaron. There you go. Nice. We pulled the Griffey version. Sweet. Um, give me some odds here. All right. Race to Aaron Black. Race to Aaron Gold. 101. So here's all the odds here. So finding a gold. Class 2, 1, and 4. Class 3, 1, and 8. So you get three box. Black class 1, 1, and 12. Black class three, 2, 1, and 24. Black label class 3, 1 and 48, sequentially numbered, red label class 1, 1 and 1 and 48, 296, oh, there we go. And red label class 3, 1 and 592, race to Aaron Gold is 1 and 20, race to Aaron Blacks, 1 and 90, sequentially number race to Aaron Red, 1 and 3000, that's pretty tough, and sequentially number 1 and ones. So, they're saying that, saying there's only two versions. There's the gold, 1 in 20, and there is the black, 1 in 80, and reds are really sequentially numbered. So reds should be sequentially numbered. So this looks like a regular one. Gold, okay? But 1 in 20 packs. Very nice. So that kind of makes up for it a little bit, and I'm assuming I missed a bunch of cards. Because it looks like the only thing different on some of these cards is just the color of the um, logo. So we have to go back and look. All right, Matt Williams, Eric Karos, Jeff Johnson. <laughs> there is the same card. Again, Tops love to do this back in the day. Oh, this one definitely is different. So this one is black so the same card one is gold one is black so again we'll go back to the odds i think that was one in, was one in 80 race to aaron black one in 80 wow so there we go we hit back to back race to aaron griffey cards uh one gold to 20 so that's one in 20 and that's one in 80 right there guys sweet that's pretty awesome. And then you can see the Griffey lettering is different too, right? See, the logo is different. That's different. That's really cool. Um, try not to damage the card. Just kind of, these are really condition sensitive. Uh, I'm not trying to get fingerprints on them that I'll have to wipe off later. Um, I'm just looking at the cards because they're just really cool. I love that. Um, foil there uh, compared to the regular foil. Yeah, you can definitely see a difference there. So that is really cool. And then obviously when I looked at um, this card here, the Ray Langford, I thought maybe it was a black because of that logo. See the logo difference there? So that might be a black. Um... Yep. All right. So there it is, guys. Um, I may have missed a few because I didn't know what I was looking for. But I think we definitely nailed the uh, the insert. And so uh, on the Griffey tracker, again, both Hank Aaron, 1 and 20, 1 and 80. Then we hit a base Griffey um, 1 right here. So, wow, really nice looking cards. Uh, super impressed by the quality of these cards. And, you know, 
that's the fun part about these cards or you know things back in this time period was and you know, they did do a lot more i think cool looking cards <laughs> at this time period than they ever did really for um um you know later on so i think here's another one right here so i'm now kind of looking back at the cards to see which ones probably are the golds or the sorry the blacks as you get those like six a box so we found i think here's another one so now that i know what i'm looking for i'm, I'm a little bit better at spotting the um, the different color logo oops that wasn't great Ugh, should drop cards on cards um, so we should have probably one or two more of these in here Again, it's not super duper obvious <laughs> what they are, honestly. Even looking at them in hand here, it's like... I think this is one of the reasons maybe the set didn't gain as much popularity because if these are your chase cards that you're really looking for, and it's just hard to find them. I mean, they could have done a little bit better job of just seeing on the back what they were, right? Um, so you didn't have to guess as much that you have the somewhat different logo there that's uh different so and again i think if you know if you weren't like i was just kind of looking at the cards and not really paying attention to the logo as much you can easily miss one of these cards Again, I think you know, we found two. We hit the Griffey insert, so that they may have counted that one as one of our hits per box. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure we have any more, but we definitely found two more. Yeah. Sometimes they're harder to tell. And that's it. So, I think we found two more. For a total of three plus the Griffey. So Juan Gonzalez, Avina Castilla. Sorry. You can see again. Here's a regular. You can see those logos are different. So I think these are the black logos. The one thing that is weird is they didn't do the um, snazzy looking um, uh, bl um, numbering. See the how. The Griffey lettering is different color. So you got the different, you got the logos the same there, but you don't have the gold and the name different. So that's interesting that they could have done that to make it a little easier to find. So there it is, guys. That is my Pox of 99. Uh, 99 gold label. Uh, really, really cool looking cards. I mean, quality of the cards is super top notch. Like this is as nice a base card as you'll ever find nicer than finest um i just think the finest refractors are a little bit nicer but these are great base cards you know i think these griffey cards here are cool as heck i can't wait to sleeve them up and maybe get them graded so there it is guys that is my box of 1999 uh gold label um with my blacks i found my all my cool base cards and some of my class three. So a lot of fun. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you next time on Cards of Comics. Bye.